Well, hello friends from Querétaro, Mexico. I'm going to be doing a few videos from here exploring this city. And today I'm going to take you to explore a huge pyramid that's actually right in the city that not many people know about. This pyramid is called El Cerrito. It's about five kilometers west of the city centro. And it's actually much bigger than the more famous Chichen Itza in the Yucatan. So the pyramid is located about five kilometers from central. It's on the west side of the city. And in fact, I'm at the site now and you can see the city, it's right there. And they have a small museum here. So we're gonna check out the museum first and then we'll head up and check out the pyramid. Okay, so I just exited the museum and then I'm just going to follow this little path and it'll take you right up to the base of the pyramid. Well, friends, from my limited Spanish, reading the plaques in the museum and talking to a couple of people, it's incredibly interesting, the history that's here. This area uh, was inhabited by the Chupacuaro culture uh, uh, approximately 300 BC, is what they estimated at. And then it was followed by the Tihotahuacan and the Toltec, and then later on by the Chichimeca and Otomi. And this, pyramid they estimate was built approximately 400 AD and it was later it became one of the most important sites in the entire Toltec world up until about 1200 AD and then when the Spanish arrived in uh, the 1500s it was still used uh, to some degree by the um, Chichimecas and the site is open from Wednesday to Sunday from 9 o'clock in the morning until 3 p.m and the cost is 70 pesos. So as you can see here, it's actually a pretty expansive site. And like most archeological sites in Mexico, um, the urban sprawl of the city around it usually encroaches it and is built up on top of it. And it wasn't until fairly recently, I think it was the 80s or 90s, that they started protecting this site and not allowing the city to encroach it any further. Because you can see here the, the city of Querétaro. Querétaro is actually one of the fastest growing cities in all of Mexico. Querétaro has a, I believe it has a population of well over a million people now already. And I did discover some interesting history of this pyramid. In the late 1600s, or early 1700s, uh, when the Spanish came in and they established the city of Querétaro, the Roman Catholic Franciscan monks, they actually found out that there were still some um, indigenous tribes still using this temple. Uh, whether they were the Toltec or the Chichimeca, I can't remember, but they had set up a an altar at the top and they had a, an idol set up for worship of a female deity. So when the Franciscans got word of this, they just replaced the 
the idol they had set up, their female deity idol, and they replaced it with their own, which was the Virgin Mary, so they could gain control over the Aboriginal groups. And that's typically how the, the Roman Catholics brought people into Catholicism, just by amalgamating their beliefs with, with their other beliefs. And it's just so interesting, friends, that the extents that people will go to and the hard work <laughs> that they will put in to creating some sort of a religious system and adhering to it, basically not knowing if it's going to help them or not. They just basically hope for the best. Just look at the amount of hard work it takes to build something like this in order to worship. And Jesus Christ came, friends, with a very, very simple message. He came to set people free from all of this. He came with the truth because he says, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. And he came to give you something not only better, but something of truth and something far more simple. Jesus Christ came and showed us that we no longer have to do these things. We no longer have to make these sacrifices. We no longer have to atone for our own faults and sins and mistakes, hoping to appease God. Christ came and sacrificed himself as the ultimate sacrifice. There's nothing more that we can add to that. All we have to do, friends, the simple message of, of Christ's salvation is just to acknowledge that you're a sinner, Repent of those sins, turn from them, and turn to him to forgiveness. That's it. And he came and he brought that simple truth. And you can have it, friends. Anybody can have it. So I hope you find it. And friends, I hope you enjoyed this little adventure today. And uh, I just want to encourage you to get out and explore. There's so much to, to see and do out there in this world that God has created. So I hope you have a chance to do it. Get your families together and go out and explore. And have a blessed day, everyone.